Rebranding is a strategy as old as commerce. If a brand becomes seen as dangerous, unreliable, or otherwise undesirable, marketing departments go into overdrive to reinvent perceptions through rebranding. The products and its defects don't often change, just the name or image. Several years ago, Comcast was known as a terrible company, so they changed their name to Xfinity. No change to the bad service, frequent outages, and exorbitant prices. Now the company has consumer ratings as bad as they did before spending millions to change their name. As of January 1st of 2021, the official name of GMOs was changed by the United States Department of Agriculture to Bioengineered. Why would they do this? Because they lost the scientific and public relations war. People now perceive GMOs as undesirable, hence this transparent attempt at a rebrand. Through market research, they learned that the term bioengineered was accepted more positively than the more honest term, genetically modified. Of course, if you think about the new name, it is no less ominous. The prefix bio means life, so even with the rebrand, you have scientists trying to engineer or design and build life. This is arrogant, ominous, and less accurate, since these scientists aren't engineering life, but rather modifying genetic sequences to modify it with all of the unintended consequences that such hubris can unleash. The thing about a rebrand is that if the product is the same, a rebrand is just an attempt to sell more of something undesirable, which is exactly what bioengineered foods are. The detrimental environmental and health impacts have not changed. Bioengineered products still promote environmental degradation because of their ties to the irresponsible use of pesticides. They still have dire known and unknown impacts, including increased toxicity and allergic reactions, antibiotic resistance, immunity suppression, and links to cancer. You can decide to call excrement by a new name, but that does not change the smell. Along with the name, these products have a new logo, a colorful natural farm field under a clear sunny sky. Apparently, the labs that produce these mutations have nice wallpaper. Don't be fooled by the new name, the logo, or the attempt to whitewash the truth about these products, because what's in a name is just more of the same garbage wrapped in a slightly different bow.